Okay, so on today's Biome Bites, we're going to be talking a little bit about productivity. Um, and I'm going to be sharing some tips, tricks, tools, techniques that I have implemented and continue to implement to try and live a productive and efficient lifestyle. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about in this episode is batch booking and forward planning your personal appointments. These are things where there's potentially competition to get um, uh, appointments and to get good times. Uh, this could apply to restaurants and things like that as well. But in this specific instance, I'm talking about personal appointments. So these are things that we have to do or we want to do that we do reasonably often. Um, and uh, one in which uh, typically there's not so much flexibility as you get closer to the time because there's competition for spaces and other people are booked instead. So things like the dentist, things like the barber, uh, things like massage, if you get massage, um, these kind of things. And it's best to batch book and it's best to book possibly up to two months in advance. <clears throat> Why do that? Well, these are essential things. Um, they cause stress if they're not booked. And if you book well in advance, you typically get the best time. And that's the best time for you rather than uh, just whatever time is available. Uh, so that's one productivity trick. Get everything booked months in advance. If you need to cancel, you need to reschedule, that's fine. You've already got the appointment and it's already there. The second productivity tip is to create a, a buffer of essential items that you have for yourself or in your home. So the classics are toilet roll, kitchen paper, toothpaste, deodorant, um, uh, water, if you have sparkling water or tap water in Scotland is extremely good. Um, supplements, if you've got supplements, and I'm going to talk again about that in a second. Um, and have a buffer for at least a month because uh, you're going to need them. And if you just buy for a day or a week, you're constantly going to the shops or thinking about the next one. So if you can afford it, buy all of these items in bulk and make a list of these are my essentials, these are my most frequently purchased and try and buy in bulk in advance and you also typically get cost savings as well. Now on supplements, um, really supplements are supplements, right? Your diet and your lifestyle come first and foremost typically for your own health. Um, but there are a range of supplements that are potentially beneficial. So general statements like uh, vitamin D is probably good for most people in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, fish oils are probably good for a large proportion of the population when you take the right mix of EPA, DHA, and you take enough of it. A general multivitamin is probably not a bad idea for people that aren't getting a lot of fruits and vegetables <clears throat> and a balanced diet. If you want to go a bit further and you're focused on optimum performance and well-being like I am, then you're probably taking a fair few supplements. And uh, when you're taking a fair few supplements, it can be a bit of a faff every morning, opening them all up, laying them all out, taking them and then repeating that. Sometimes you forget. What happens if you travel? So uh, one thing that I've learned over the years is that um, there are people who take lots of pills and who have to take lots of pills every day. And they're not typically the people who take supplements. They're people who take a lot of prescribed medication. And they they have them in what's called dosset boxes, like pill packs. And <clears throat> you can get uh, pill packs off uh, any major uh, online retailer. And you can have your supplements split out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And you can have that for weeks in advance, all within this tightly compact pill box. Uh, so for me, it's got to the point now where I have my supplements basically um, all packed up and stashed away for three weeks in advance. And in my um, hand carriage uh, travel bag, so I do a lot of traveling, I've got a pack in there at all times, so I'm not second guessing. 
Um, another thing I really like is sachets of um, essentially dried um, greens. Uh, I take athletic greens and I also pack seven of those roughly into my travel uh, carry-on suitcase. <clears throat> so I know that wherever I go in the world, however remote, I've got my supplements and I've got like a daily greens there that I can put into water. And uh, typically when I'm flying, um, I don't really eat the plain food. I just have a, a sachet of athletic greens and my supplements um, <clears throat> or I carry on some fruit and some veg because I don't really like um, um, plain food. So um, we've talked about supplements, we've talked about creating a buffer, we've talked about batch booking personal appointments, and we'll finish off with um, doing some exercise every day and doing something in the morning. Um, so why exercise every day? Um, you might be thinking, I heard that you can overtrain and do you really need to exercise every day to get the benefits? Um, <clears throat> no. You don't need to exercise every day to get the benefits of exercise clearly. And to get the benefits that most people talk about, which is reductions in uh, risk factors for disease, a um, couple times a week is probably okay. Uh, but if you move every day and you do something every day, you get other benefits, which are not just relating to your health, relating to <clears throat> improved focus, general sense of well-being, uh, concentration, that kind of thing. So um, I find that if you're wanting to perform at your best and feel your best, and then doing some exercise every day is beneficial. And it doesn't need to be much. It can just be a 15 minute, 20 minute walk. It can be 10 minutes, five minutes of high intensity training, two minutes of high intensity training. Some people have shown that just going for one all out sprint for 10 or 15 seconds is enough to get some benefit. So it doesn't need to be massive. I also find that if you get it done in the morning, then it's done. As the day creeps on and you get to work and you start getting pings on your phone and you've got commitments, maybe you've got kids and family, it becomes harder and harder. And as the day goes on, you get more and more tired and the thought of doing exercise becomes more difficult. If you get it out of the way in the morning, you can start to intertwine it with other uh basically routine things that you've got going on, like your supplements and your green sachet. And suddenly you've started the morning with some exercise, your supplements and your green sachet all done. And you're ready to take on the day. Uh, so I recommend doing some exercise every day, even if it's just one minute, 15 seconds, two minutes, 15 minutes. It's investing in yourself. Every time you do that, you're putting something into the bank and these things compound over time. So we've talked about um, batch um, bookings, we've talked about bulk buying, uh, we've talked about um, supplements, and we've talked about some exercise in the morning. Um, so that's it for this episode of Buy on Bites. Uh, if you've got any questions, please feel free to email me on james at insidematters.health. Uh, connect with me on social media. I'd be very happy to take the questions either directly or on a future podcast episode. Thank you.